All right, today we're looking at the VeloWave Prado S. This is a 48 volt, 15 amp hour battery pack, 750 watt motor. They say it can do 25 or so miles on one charge and top speed is 20 miles per hour, probably limited if I were to guess. But anyway, let's just get it out of the box and see how it does. Right off the bat, definitely pretty heavy. Anyway. Okay, let's see how the Velo Wave Prado S looks. So this packaging, you actually, it's actually one solid piece all the way down. Wow, okay. So I guess we're just gonna have to. Wow. Well packaged though, I'll give them that. Oh, freak. So here's the Veloway Prado S e-bike. This is a step through design e-bike. It has a bunch of mounting points on the frame if you do ever want to just put a bunch of stuff on it, water bottle holders, bags, that kind of thing. First impression is it looks pretty cool. I know it's a step through design, but I like the matte black and just the overall flow of the bike looks nice. It looks like a comfortable cruising bike type of vibe. Let's go through the software really quick and just kind of show you guys how the bike works generally. Hold down the power button, welcome and then it opens up to your speed, the miles you've gone, your gear selector for pedal assist, and your battery life. Holding down the plus button will turn on the headlight, which is nice and bright, which is nice. Um, also, this was pretty easy to set up. As far as e-bikes that come and you have to assemble a little bit, it was not that bad. You just put on the front wheel, the handlebars, and the pedals, and install the battery pack, and that was pretty much it. And the fender down here, but that was easier than usual. <laughs> I do appreciate when they put the headlight with the actual like bracket on it. A lot of e-bikes just have like a bolt that goes through here and you're like trying to put everything through at the same time. This makes it a lot easier and simpler. So there you go. Much appreciated there. Velo Wave. Recap on specs. It's a 750 watt hub motor in the rear there. The battery pack is a 48 volt 15 amp hour. Estimated range they said is about 25 to 30 miles or something based on just the electric drivetrain with a top speed of 20 miles per hour electric only or 28 miles per hour with pedaling. So a lot of you guys say that you can get faster with pedaling, but honestly, it's just too much pedaling to be worth going slightly faster. <laughs> but I'll give it a shot this video, see if it's any different. But that's pretty much it. Let's get this thing on a full charge and we'll take it out to the street, get our first impressions. Then I'll do a full range test and we'll do a top speed test at the same time. And we'll just see the real world specs on this thing. All right, riding the VeloWave Prado S e-bike. Now this is a definitely different design that I have reviewed. I don't think I've reviewed one that looks, you know, too similar to this. Very odd design, but you know, not bad for what it is. But this is a first impression type thing. Not worried about looks, we're worried about performance and you know, overall comfort of the thing, how it feels, if it's, you know, if it feels like a high quality bike or not. Uh, so far, my first impression is good. <laughs> After hitting that bump, I can definitely tell bumps are minimized on this thing as best as they can be. It's a smooth ride. I could feel the road, but not too much. And it's not a huge bike either. This is, you know, a, I would say it's a little bit more of a compact e-bike. I'm 6'3", 205 pounds, but this feels fine. I mean, I feel like it doesn't feel big. It doesn't feel too small. You know, if you're smaller than I am, this would be a great bike. But that's just my own personal body, so I'm not even going to worry about that. Uh, looks like we're limited to 20 miles per hour, as most e-bikes are when they come. Which is good as far as range goes, because you do get more mileage, you know, the slower you go to a point. So if it's limited at 20, and it could go faster, you will see more range out of it. So there's a perk there for being limited at 20, plus it's legal, so, you know, you're not getting 
busted by the police. Hey, it looks like we're actually, oh uh, yeah, I could feel it cut off right there. So yeah, it's going back down to 20 miles per hour. But yeah, so far it's pretty smooth. It does have fat tires, but they're not huge. I don't know what the diameter of the tire is, but they're not huge. So you do feel some bumps but you also get up to speed quicker because they're smaller wheels so it does have better acceleration up to 20 which is good you know so it, pretty much everything has its trade-offs if it has bigger wheels you feel less bumps but you also accelerate slower but overall again it feels pretty good i might see if i can soften the suspension a little bit it's not bad but you can still feel some bumps but i mean for the price you can't complain on every little thing like it doesn't feel like the highest quality possible made bike but it doesn't feel janky at all you know and for the price that's exactly what you'd expect like it feels safe to ride it feels definitely it feels decently well put together and everything like you could tell there's a couple little things that you know could use some tweaking and i'm sure you could tweak them to your satisfaction I don't care enough to because I'm just testing the specs and performance and the overall build quality of it. It's a decently nimble bike as well. You can definitely toss it around, doesn't feel too heavy. But let's take this on a full range test really quick, see how many miles it gets. And then you can really make your decision whether it's worth buying or not in your case, you know? And you guys know how I do this. I'm just gonna literally just go as far as I possibly can on the electric drivetrain, no pedaling. And you know, at full speed, max speed, just see how far it'll take me riding it like a motorcycle. So let's get on that full range test and I'll bring you guys back when I'm done. That's actually that better than real average. quick. Yeah, that's bad. that's better than average. From right there. Yeah, there. not bad. At like 20 miles per hour. Yeah, that's pretty good. Better than average. I do so, like the step through. Yeah. Like I had, this is unrelated to the review, but my sister-in-law's dad wanted one just like this. And I was like, not that many make them like this. Yeah, here it is. Right, there it is. VeloWave has one. All right, so that's the VeloWave Prado S. Um, they, Honestly, it did take me a bit of time to review this. The only complaint I have on this bike is I did, the front tire popped midway through the, the review. So I was waiting on, uh, you know, just getting it repaired and whatnot. So one thing I would recommend maybe VeloWave, if you're listening, <laughs> is maybe just thicker inner tubes or something just so it doesn't pop. It was from Thistles, we drove over some Thistles, picked them all out, and then it was deflated the next morning. But that's really my only real complaint because this is only $1,250, this bike right here. And you're getting pretty decent specs. I did the full range test. If you want to bring them over here, Lori Kurt, uh, we got 21.1 miles on the um, odometer. Yeah. Um, Full does only one charge? That was one charge. Yeah. So we might have put a 0.1 on there. So it's about 20, 21 miles um, per charge, which is really good. Um, which is, you know, average, but for the price, it's really good. Plus, you're getting around 20 something, you know, low 20s miles per hour out of it. That's pretty much it. I mean, there's not a whole lot to say. It's a pretty simple, pretty cheap e bike. Um, cheap meaning it's inexpensive. Then I guess my other complaint is just this, uh, this, uh, the hand grip or maybe just how i'm holding it or whatever but like you have to twist it on every now and then there's a tiny little gap that forms at least it's good rubber like if it was a cheap grip i'd have more of a complaint there but it feels nice when you're riding it and i do like the twist um shifter twist shifter is personally my favorite i don't like the shimano big old levers all over the handlebars my first bike as a kid is a six speed and they had this nice so that's what i'm partial to as well i don't know yeah. if it's just because that's what i got used to i mean to. it just looks better and it feels better when you're riding it. it's not big like two levers sticking off the handlebars like this you know so anyway uh very you know but just overall it's a very convenient bike it's comfortable it's got the little luggage rack which i know people like as well and it all comes in $1,200, $1,250 as it currently sits. And they do have Black Friday discounts right now. I just checked their website. Um, so there's a link below if you guys want to check it out. But that's the VeloWave Prado S. Overall for the price, I definitely can recommend it. It's, I mean, it's just a simple cost-effective e-bike. Uh, so there's a link below if you guys want to check it out. Thanks for watching. Smash that like button if you could. 
Uh, we're on to some cool projects right after this. I can't wait to get the reviews done. And then we're back on to some cool uh, projects. Insanely fast go-kart build, weird vehicle that we're making that you guys have maybe seen on Instagram, but probably haven't. But anyway, that's it. Thanks for watching. Catch you guys next time.